party, y'all. Good. What do you say to a cocktail, Coach Lasso? Oh, the same thing I'd say to Diane Sawyer if she ever asked me out on a date. Yes, please. <laughs> Live from the dog track, it's Richmond with eight straight ties. How many more matches before you hit the panic button? There's two buttons I never like hitting. That's panic and snooze. I don't care what our record is. It's all about believing that everything's going to work out in the end. Exactly as it's supposed to. And isn't the idea of never give up one of the things we always talk about in sports? And shouldn't that apply to people, too? It's a beautiful metaphor for many of life's journeys. The team's just a little unlucky, that's all. Maybe we should bring in a sports psychologist. Brought you a little something, something for your first day of work here. I don't eat sugar. Really? I've never met someone who doesn't eat sugar. Only heard about them. They all live in this godless place called Santa Monica. We will, we will you. you got a fever for the flavored little girl talk, don't you? This chap I've been seeing, John. Stamos? No. His name's John Wings Knight. Like at a sports bar? Like Monday night's Wings Night down at PJ Flats. Would you please stop? Rule number one, even though it's called girl talk, sometimes it needs to be more like girl listen. We will, we will rock you. We will, we will rock you. What's Ted doing? Probably homesick. Closest thing he can find to a Dodge Ram. Woo! Back home, if a team was playing poorly, we don't call them unlucky. What do we call them, coach? New York Jets.